What will the weather be like tomorrow? The forecast for tomorrow shows mostly cloudy skies with a high of 85 and a low of 59. Well, folks, Cortana has finally made its way into a public beta on Android. That means anyone using an Android phone can use Cortana. You just have to go to Microsoft's website and I'll leave a link for that so that you can download the APK. So in vanilla Android or in really any other version of Android that you have the Google Now launcher installed on, Google Now will live to the left of your home screen. Now normally you'd be able to tap on the home button and then swipe up and that would also take you to Google Now, but it doesn't have to be that way. After you install Cortana, when you perform this gesture the first time, it will actually ask you whether you want to continue using Google or if you want to use Cortana instead. So if you want to do that, just select Cortana and then say always. You also have this icon down here for the microphone. If you tap that, you can have Cortana start to listen and answer your questions verbally. One thing that is notably absent though is the ability to activate Cortana simply using your voice. I'm not sure if that feature is coming to Android at any point in the future. As of right now, that's limited to Windows 10 and Windows 10 Mobile. The settings that you'll find here are pretty much the same as they are in Windows 10 and Windows 10 Mobile. However, you won't see the option for a Cortana since that feature is not available on Android, but for the most part, everything else is exactly the same as it is in Windows 10. That's it. Thanks for watching.